the National Resistance Movement Parliamentary Caucus assembled at State House in Tebe resolved to support the presentation and passing into law by Parliament all the bills on the rationalization of government agencies and public expenditure, providing for a three-year transitional period for Uganda Coffee Development Authority, UCDA, and National Information Technology Authority, Uganda, NITA, U. Rationalization is aimed at um, making government <coughs> appear much more leaner, aiming at avoiding duplication. The department that will be created to accommodate all the agencies that will be rationalized either through a repeal, through a merger, through mainstreaming, will play the same roles and responsibilities that these entities have played over the years. Rationalization on a good day under a serious government would be the right thing to do because, like I'm saying, there's many entities that should never have existed in the first place. It was just duplication to create jobs for relatives, in-laws, outlaws, and so on and so forth, and yet no work gets to be done. If government wants Ugandans to generally believe it and support it and not to have second thoughts about cutting down government expenditure, deal with the question of the too many presidential advisors that you have who don't even advise the president, he's the one who advises them. Deal the, with the questions of the too many RDCs, deputy RDCs, Recently, they introduced assistant RDCs. And I'm not afraid to say that even parliament, which I belong to, is too huge. And yet I'm hearing in some corners that government wants to introduce some new districts. How do you expect Ugandans to believe you when you say that for all this rationalization, it's because we want to save government expenditure? The court